I always thought it'd be cooler by Arison. It's totally a coat of arms. You know, Starlight said sadly, I'd always thought they'd be cooler. Applejack looked up from her apple brown belly and frowned at the unicorn. So I what? The cutie my crusaders. Starlight pointed over to the three fillies playing in front of the barn. She and Applejack were relaxing on the front porch of the farmhouse, watching the fillies practice tap dancing. What are you on about? Applejack demanded, putting down her snack. If it is about them doing the fancy dancing, well no wonder. All them fast hoofs don't make a lick of sense to me. It's just something they're doing for fun is all. Not that. Starlight sighed again with melancholy. I mean they're cutie marks. Applejack eyed Starlight suspiciously. I assure you well, your legs are pie mighty quick. Maybe it didn't go down right. No, no. Starlight waved to hoof at Applejack. It was delicious. Then why are you talking about their marks? Applejack demanded. So I found the destiny. Helping us opponents with their cutie mark problems. Isn't that good? It is, it is, but... Starlight searched for words. I just thought they'd be a bit... Cooler than just that, really. When you think about it... Applejack's brow darkened. If you saw my sister's not fancy enough for you, then you can give me back my pie and shove it. I mean, I always thought they'd be knights. Starlight said. What? Knights? Starlight repeated. Maybe you don't know about them. It is ancient history, of course. They were an order of ponies that wore armor and fought for Celestia. The order of the round stump or some such. Luna founded them back when Equestria was in disorder, before the formation of the EUP and... I would know all about that. Applejack interrupted impatiently. Granny Smith too used to tell me stories of them all the time when I was a fella. What in tarnation has this to do with security mark crusaders? Just think about it. Starlight pointed to Applebloom's cutie mark as she twirled by. All three of the crusaders have a shield around their own cutie mark. Have you ever heard of a cutie mark like that before? Well, it ain't uncommon. Applejack said dismissively. Just look at my own cutie mark. It's got apples in it. So does Big Max and Granny Smith, and every other apple in the family tree. She paused, then added darkly, Except for cousin tomatoes, it is. Yes, but that's all variations on the same thing, Starlight said. Just like how all the Royal Guard have cutie marks related to fighting. But these cutie marks are nearly identical. The only thing that differentiates them is the symbol within their shield. It's a coat of arms. What's a coat of arms? Applejack asked suspiciously. It just looks like a fancy shield to me. It's a mark of a knight, or it used to be, Starlight explained. Actually, I should say it's more like their individual cutie marks that proves they're a knight. They used to wear them on their helmets and shields when they fought, because they often covered their flanks with armor to protect them. And you're saying that the cutie mark crusaders have cutie marks that look like a coat of arms? Applejack asked. Yes, Starlight said. I thought it meant they'd be, well, knights. I mean, it's even in their name. Cutie Mark Crusaders. Knights used to go on things called crusades where they fought evil together. That's either wild coincidence or some larger party of their destiny. Alright, that is sort of suspicious, Applejack had to admit. But don't it seem like they're doing that already? I mean, just look at today. She pointed to Applebloom with pride. My little sister helped another pony find his cutie mark. Ain't that an odd thing to do? Starlight hesitated. It is, but... But... Applejack prompted. Starlight glanced over at the Crusaders to make sure they were out of earshot. Then she leaned over to Applejack and whispered, But it's just so boring. 
boring? Applejack whispered back in outrage. Why is that plain rude? I'm just saying that they could have been real knights. Starlight insisted. Proper ones that went around fighting evil, not listening to ponies whine about their problems. You mean like fighting? Applejack said incredulously. What's that got to do with helping other ponies with security marks? It would be stopping them from using their cutie marks in the wrong way. Starlight insisted. Just think about it. Didn't they help a horse by the name of Trouble Shoes a while ago? They did, Applejack said reluctantly. He wasn't using his cutie mark properly, and so he caused a ton of trouble at all rodeos, Starlight said. That's one example of how ponies can misinterpret their destiny. And for another example, look at me. She pointed to her own cutie mark. I used my powers to steal other ponies' cutie marks until you all stopped me. Well, wouldn't it just make just as much sense if the cutie mark crusaders went out and helped ponies like me that are causing trouble? Applejack sat back stunned. Well, uh, she began. I guess that makes some sort of sense. Sorta. So it sounds that the cutie mark crusaders might actually be knights? Yes, exactly! Starlight exclaimed. Can't you imagine it? Each one of the crusaders has her own talent. Scootaloo is the faster pony on the ground. Applebloom can brew potions and build and Sweetie Belle can sing and use magic. All three have their own unique talents they can use to help others as a team or individually. In fact, they might not be the only ones. If more cutie marks appeared with the same shield background, the cutie mark crusaders might actually become an order of roaming knights patrolling Equestria. I think you're pushing a bell there. Applejack said, leaning back slightly in her seat. I mean, part of your ideas make sense, but knights? In this day and age, who'd they fight? Dragons? Starlight suggested. If one was threatening a village and preventing them from following their destiny... Seems like a stretch, Applejack said. Then how about ponies like me, or Sombra? They'd go out to stop us like the elements of harmony are sent out to settle friendship disputes. If diplomacy and peace didn't work, she smacked a hoof on the table. Bam! They go out and kick the horse apples out of any troublemakers. Starlight, look. And then, if they're worthy, the crusaders would recruit them into their ranks. Starlight went on, oblivious. And they'd have to have a leader, of course, the first among equals. Starlord, I think you're... It could be anyone. Princess Celestia, or me even. Or maybe Princess Luna, or Twilight, or me, or me, or me, or me, or me, or me, and... Starlord! Starlight Glimmer stopped and looked at Applejack. What? I can see you're passionate about this idea of yours and all. Applejack said. But I think you're taking it a bit too far. Sure, it'd be nice to imagine all them things you were talking about. But I ended it too far-fetched. Equestria doesn't have many villains, except for you and a few other bad acts now and then. And we don't need knights. Heck, we don't even need the Wonderbolts or the Royal Guard most of the time. I know you want it to be true, but I just think the Cutie Mark Crusader sounds a knighty type is all. Starlight Glimmer deflated visibly at Applejack's words. I suppose you're right. She sighed. Sorry about that, Applejack. I just let my imagination carry me away. Don't mention it, Applejack said. I know you were only getting excited, Anne. I mean, they could have been great knights, roaming Equestria and beyond to prevent the misguided and black-hearted from committing evil, Starlight said, staring off into the distance. They would have been Equestria's shield, the roaming knight errands of the past, a symbol of justice, of peace, of martial and magical might. They would have ushered in an era of honor and peace, of dignity and valor. Legends might have been told of their deeds. She brushed a tear from her eye and turned to Applejack and sighed again deeply. But you know what? You're right. They'll never be those heroes of old. Instead, they'll go around like wandering vagrants, listening to ponies complain about their problems. Cutie Mark Counselors, it's probably for the best. Starlight patted Applejack on the shoulder. 
So you'll be a credit to us all. Good job. You must be so proud. She got up and stretched. Well, that was depressing. I'm off to eat every cake in Sugar Creep Corner now. See ya. Applejack watched Starlight leave with mouth slightly agape. That mare's five cons like short of a harvest. She muttered to herself. Really? Granny Smith asked, poking her head out of the window. I sort of liked the idea. Oh, uh, yep. Big Mac sat from within the house. Yeah! Applejack nearly jumped out of her skin when she saw the three cutie Mac crusaders standing right behind her. It sounded awesome! Scootaloo said excitedly. Did you hear all those things Sarah Glimmer was saying? We could be knights! Fighting dragons? Apple Bloom said. Which is scary, Sweetie Belle said. But maybe fun. Princess Luna was the one who made the Order of the Round Stump, right? Scootaloo demanded. Well, maybe we should make us a Knight Order too! The Order of the Round Crusaders! Sweetie Belle exclaimed. Wait, that doesn't sound right. It's a great idea, Apple Bloom said. I mean, all the signs are there, right? What else does a knight need to do? I think they needed to do something valorous. Granny Smith said thoughtfully. All your fellies need is to prove your worth somehow. Like how? Sweetie Belle asked. We could fight a manticore. Scootaloo suggested. That's knightly. Yeah, or we could rescue a damsel in distress. Apple Bloom said. Oh, that's perfect. Sweetie Belle said. Rarity is always in distress. Let's go rescue her. Yeah, cutie Mac knights away. Applejack watched the three cutie Mac crusaders dash away towards Ponyville. Half of her wanted to run after them and stop them, but the other half knew it was probably too late. Granny Smith and Big Mac went back to their chores, leaving Applejack by herself and her thoughts. When she was quite sure no one was around, Applejack sat back on the porch and muttered to herself. Well, I think the elements of harmony make much better nights is all. Well, hello and welcome back to another comment time as a visual pony, where I will remind you that you can support Pony and Wolf Productions through the links down in the description below. Every dollar helps is needed and very much appreciated and helps to keep the lights on around here. And now let's get into this. Okay, the Cutie Mark Crusaders as knights. Is it weird that I can kinda see that? So, Scootaloo's idea to go and fight a manticore, I do not think that that is a very good idea. You know, these three are fillies. They are, you know, no, they stand no chance against the manticore. Uh, maybe with some help, but on their own, they would simply provide that manticore with a free dinner. You know what I mean? Or food for an entire day, you know. Breakfast would be uh, Sweetie Belle, lunch is Apple Bloom, and dinner is Scootaloo. Oh my word, my thoughts just got very dark in that regard. Anyhow, I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to... Give some love to the author, the link is as always in the description. And with that, I hope that this video finds you well in body and mind.